Acts 8 real quick because this ain't far-fetched. Obviously, it don't say Clarence, but the movie was obviously inspired by certain scriptures in the Bible, okay? Like I said, we're not going to go over everything, but we're going to touch a few points. So give me the book of Acts chapter 8, and I want verse... I want verse 9. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 8, and verse 9. Mm-hmm. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city... Uh, start at 6, but read fast, please. Verse 6. And the people with one accord gave heed unto these things, which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Mm-hmm. For the unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with, with the palsies. And that were lame, were healed. Come on. And there was a great joy in the city. Mm -hmm. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery Mm -hmm. and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. Did we we make that up? No, sir. But what were the reading? The Bible. So, Sean, what? There were men like this during the time of Christ and the apostles. That's right. right. All right. So we showed earlier up that Philip, what? Remember, he had a holy... Uh, he had powers. He had the Holy Spirit on him. He was able to heal the sick. Right. So this sorcerer, he ended up seeing that, and he wanted to get that mm-hmm. same power. Similar to that's what Clarence wanted to do. Wow. All right, because he was in debt to, you know, the dude. Right. All right, so he wanted to get out of it, and he wanted to be the Messiah. Because he didn't know any better. He didn't believe on uh, Christ at the time. Right. All right, let's read on. To Come on. whom they all gave heed, mm-hmm. from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God. Uh-huh. And to him, they had they had regard because that of long time, he had bewitched them with right. sorceries. Right, just like the Christian church. The pastors, they're being bewitched. How? Are, nah, I ain't going to talk about that. But <laughs> these pastors, they have bewitched the people performing fake miracles. Bring it up. You've seen them. You've seen the, the 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 telethons. You've seen all of that. Laying hands. You've seen Tyler Perry lay hands on T. What the hell is this? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Is. All of that stuff is garbage. It's fake. That's right. Just like what we're reading here. Come on. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. This is what they really, this is the problem they got. What black Christians haven't come to the, uh, to the re- realization of is that you actually hate God. Right. That's what it is. Black Christians hate God and the Bible and his people. That's right. Because you finally get a film that shows you the proper depiction and you speak ill of it. You hate it. You can't stand to see your people portray the people of the Bible. You understand? Right. That's what it is. So when they heard Philip, which is a follower of Christ, teaching the right way, they said, you know what? I want to follow that. And I don't want to follow Simon sorcery no more. Right. That's what's wow. wrong with the Christian church. Right. That's why they're upset. And that's why you got a problem with this Bible. But you, they, it ain't us. You got a problem with God. That's, that's right. Go ahead. Then Simon himself believed also. Right. So he believed also. You know, it's crazy. Didn't Clarence end up believing? Right. Yes, sir. right. Yep. You understand? There's, there's more. You know, Simon went off a little bit. But just understand these concepts are biblical. We're not saying that everything's spot on, but there is, like I said, there's way more good in that film than bad. That's right. Your yes, sir. Um, uh, a great point that you're making right now, Cap. So I'm remembering the movie, spoiler alert, one part of the movie, <laughs> what happened is he was using his friend Elijah to show that he had the spiritual powers, you mm-hmm. know, falsely so-called. So um, if you look at what the Christian pastors right now today, they can't heal the people, you right, know. Right. They have the same thing going on. They have brothers sitting to the side and mm-hmm. they talk to right, and they bring them right, in. Right. And they appear to heal the people, but what? They are deceiving the people. Message. So give me the book of uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. Mm-hmm. Bring it on. <laughs> the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. Uh-huh. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, uh-huh. cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. So the main part of this is a true prophet, freely he receives and freely he gives. Right. So your Christian pastor, he's not coming into your church unless you paying him. Right. right. We right. go to we go to do the work of the Lord free. That's right. That's right. You all right That's with right. me. And remember, Christ right. said we would do greater right. works. Right. And remember, right. give me first Corinthians 13 and 8 for these pastors that say they're healing people. Hey, where was the pastors <laughs> during COVID? You better say so. <laughs> right, right. Where were they at? <laughs> what the Bible says? Why they ain't gonna right. heal nobody then? Right. Hey, remember, oh spoiler alert. Oh. 
Remember what Clarence said when the dude said, hey, me next. He said, oh, I can only do one of right. them. Right. 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 These dead pastors, they're not healing you. Right. Read, read that. First Corinthians 13 and 8. The book of First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. Charity never faileth. Read. But whether there be prophecies. Mm-hmm. They shall fail. They shall fail. Come on. Whether there be tongues, come on. They shall cease. Remember, tongues was one of the spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit that was that the, the uh, that was given once Christ ascended. Right. right. That was a spiritual power. Come on. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish Whether away. Whether there be knowledge, they shall vanish away. That's it on that. Yes, sir. So understand the powers of healing and all of that. That would be taken away. When you read right. Timothy, it talks about drink wine for your infirmity. Why? Because it would only be for a dispensation of time that the spiritual powers would be there. Meaning what? 2023, we don't have the powers of Christ and the apostles. But what we do have the power is to prophesy, to teach our people their nationality. That and that's right. why they're so damn mad with this film. <laughs> this right. Because right. showing that imagery is teaching our people that we are the Israelites that's that's right. Right. according to the Bible. That's, right. Right. that's some good stuff right there. That's, that's right. right.